So today I'm going to be doing a review on the anti-fingerprint protective film for the iPhone 5 from Armors. Um, first, I'd like to thank them uh, for sending me this product out for review. And actually, they sent me out um, every screen protector they make for the iPhone 5. So you will be seeing more videos from Armors. Once again, I'd like to thank them. And I'm going to be doing an unboxing first. And then I'm going to do how to install. And then I'm probably going to use it for a week and then tell you guys my thoughts on it. So let's get into this. All right, so here's what the packaging looks like here. It just says uh, premium uh, surface no fingerprint um, uh, it's for the iPhone 5 um, it just tells you the contents up here on the back it just tells you what it's made out of all the layers out of it so let's just open this up back here and then let's pour out the contents so let's see if that's everything alright so that's everything that's inside there so right here you get the uh, you get a clean screen uh, you get two packets of step one wet and then step two dry um, I don't know if this is it's a uh, looks like you just clean your you step one you, you um, wet it and clean your phone off and step two you uh, dry it and um, that to, before you actually install the screen protector itself so here's the screen protector itself um, it's in this plastic bag here so it's an anti fingerprint one um, and it doesn't have that uh, like matte finish to it. It doesn't feel like. But um, let's put it on here. Um, so that's all you get really in the uh, thing is uh, is the screen protector itself and two cleaning packets. Clean. All right, so let's put this on. I've got my uh, phone on a cloth here so it doesn't scrape the bottom or anything. I've got the screen protector here and I've got the cleaning stuff. So let's get into this. I'm going to fast forward through me doing this, okay? All right, so here it is installed here. Um, the only thing I didn't like about the packet of cleaning was the actual dry cloth itself. It left a lot of dust on the uh, screen, and it actually made it really hard to do a perfect installation. Um, as you can see, when I was installing it, I used this cloth, and um, I still couldn't get all the little pieces of dust. So I do have a couple little dust bubbles under there. But it definitely feels nicer than most anti-fingerprint um, screen protectors out there. Um, it doesn't have that um, like hardcore like matte effect on it. And let's turn my phone on. I actually turned my phone off while I was doing it. So here it is on my phone, and um, it doesn't give that grainy effect whatsoever like um, normal um, screen protectors. It actually doesn't reduce. If, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I'll focus in there. It really doesn't look like I have one of those screen protectors on. I have an eye visor upstairs that actually um, does a huge grain effect on it and actually reduces the quality of the screen a lot. So, so far I really like this um, after installing it. I'm going to use it for a week. and uh... So I'm back here after using the screen protector for about a week and I really like it. It's uh, definitely the best anti-fingerprint screen protector on the market um, due to the fact that it keeps the iPhone screen looking sharp. Um, I find with other screen protectors like this one, it takes away from the clarity of the phone a lot. Another thing I'd like to mention is that it doesn't scratch easy as well. I know with my eye visor I had from Belkin, it scratched very easily and uh, was really annoying because anytime I'd put it in my pocket uh, with a set of keys or something, you'd come out with another scratch on it. Anyways, guys, that's my review slash unboxing for the Armors Anti-Fingerprint Screen Protector. If you like this review, please hit the like button, comment below, and subscribe. It will help me out a lot. Thanks for watching.